So what do you do when you start by faith and you see all manner of opposition things going opposite what you really believe? You have to learn to stand still. And so our text is Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. That's where the children of Israel found themselves. They had experienced a great deliverance from Pharaoh. By 10 mighty miracles, God had delivered them in powerful signs, in powerful deliverances. The last miracle was the most outstanding one. God had to strike Pharaoh and Egypt in a very severe way. And by that powerful work, God delivered his people from bondage and into freedom. There are moments where God delivers us that way and we see a power of deliverance. And when we see that, we assume, okay, this is the end of the battle. But that was not the end of the battle for Israel. There was more to be fought because the children of Egypt did not take it lying down. They started running after Israel. And so from the Passover night, they set out from Egypt into the promised land. The trip had to take them through to the Red Sea. They get to the Red Sea and they are not really sure how they're going to go over. And just at that time, they hear the hoofs of horses and the wheels of chariots coming against them. The battle they thought had been ended was continuing. And so they start panicking and, and they're crying and they're panicking and, and they're calling on Moses and they're calling on God. And it is at that time that God spoke to Moses to tell the people, stand still. Many times God gives us victory and we think, oh, this is the end of the battle. And then something pops up and we realize the battle is not ended. It's still continuing. What do you do in that situation? You stand still. And so he says to them, stand still, don't panic. And I believe the reason why he said they should stand still was because they were running helter-skelter. And he says, take it easy, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because this is part of the battle. This is part of the process. The Egyptians you see today, you will see again no more forever. There is one big victory that is going to come your way that is eradicating this problem. So there will be a manifestation. The enemy may start coming back, but stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God is a great deliverer, but he delivers us in phases and he delivers us in a process. You win the battle and you keep winning. And when you win and it seems as if the battle is coming back, don't panic, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I believe somebody is about to see the salvation of the Lord and that which pursued you and continues to pursue you, you will not see it again because God is bringing you the final and complete victory. But until that time comes, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Are you going to stand still? I am and you have to. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the decisive victory you have given me. I thank you for more victories for all my battles. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I believe you stand still and you see the salvation of the Lord. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.